Good evening everyone, um, this is Al and this is our friend Oberon. As we do with the Oates show, I was taking him off his, off his collar, sorry. I usually take his collar off of the night when we go to bed because it just feels nice for them. But it's remembered to put them back on. So tonight we're going to be doing a face wash, brush through. Hi there. Um, we're just doing a brush through to start them off. For this, for the face wash, I'm using two basins. One with soapy water, and if, what I use is a, is a dishcloth to actually in, do the wash. And I've got another dishcloth and another bucket of water, fresh water, no, no shampoo in it or anything. So I've put the medicated shampoo in, soaked it up, stood it up really nicely. And what we're going to do actually, before I do that, let me just do a quick little brush through of them first, sort of get them relaxed. You don't need to put you up just yet. There we go. Right. There we go for these here. So just do them for a, just a gentle brush through, just to get them relaxed. Don't want to just rush in, just scrubbing his face. So I hope everybody weather in the cold weather okay we had snow for a, about a day and a bit but because we're on the coast we've got a lot of sea salt air which doesn't allow really um snow to accumulate i mean with a little video i put out of Obi playing in the snow it was only a patch about this big but i was able to zoom it in so that he could have a good walk on it then after he played on it, he peed on it, and I just thought, oh yeah, that's just typical of Obi, but then that's just typical of any dog. Just look out for yellow snow. So I'm just doing the normal brush through. I'm not really putting any pressure onto it. I'd rather have more relaxed, go around the, the face. Also, I noticed that, the, do you remember he had that little thingy on his chops that I showed? It's gone now, so, Castor oil works, just a little dab of it on your finger and just rub it into the actual cyst and it will dry it out, shrink it, now it's gone. So that's about three weeks, but two, about two and a half weeks of castor oil and it's got rid of it. So that's good. So I'm actually glad Dobie's got a lot more hair on him than about it is, even though we haven't got snow it is bitterly cold outside obviously because we're on top of the down so we get all the wind as well but today there's not been so much wind it's just been incredibly cold i mean i've got the heating on full blast at the moment yeah i, I sometimes feel like i'm shaking because i'm feeling the cold and i think it's because of all the heart attacks and stuff that i've had my um immune system is not as good as it once was I used to be very tolerant of cold weather, but now I just, I can't take it at all. So we're just working this through, I've noticed that um, I haven't done as much on his ears this week because we've just been trying to stay warm. So it's always a good idea before you do a face wash just to comb through first, yeah? That's it. Right, can you turn around to your baby boy? That's it. No, Keep up your paws. Yeah. Seems one side of his head's better than the other. But it just give all this here a little comb out. Let's get this off your face. So I'm definitely going to be working on your face, preferably around the front of the face, round here where it does get stained quite badly. And a little bit on his chest. But it is good to do this brush through first before you actually apply any type of water, even if it is medicated. So here we go, here we start. So don't put it on ringing wet, just rinse it out, yeah? Get rid of all the ex as much excess water as you can. And how I would tend to do this is I'll double it over and then just work on your face, just rubbing it in. Yeah. 
And I thought it would be easy to do this using a, what do you call it, a kitchen pad, you know how, um, a scourer. But actually the scourer's okay around the chops, but if you want to get really into it all and work the hair through, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm grabbing little clumps and I'm just working them through the actual towel. Just make sure you don't pinch the skin, of course. But it's usually around the chops area they need it the most. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be as good as having a full bath, but if you're anything like me to go by, a bath is almost a nightmare. I mean, I have given them baths, but because my health isn't up to par, I find it very tedious. Especially when it comes to grinding, I've used about oh, big yawn. I've used about five towels just to dry them enough that I can actually get a a hair dryer through. I mean, dip it a couple of times. I just do a little bit each time. The object's not too overdo it. And to be gentle, obviously. Now you can double it over, or you can go for the the real hands on over the bridge. And be careful of the ears as well. Don't actually use this inside the ears. Just work your hand and just little clumps of hair and just pull out and I will take the dirt out. I mean I can see the difference in his snout already. I actually find sometimes if he's in the mood he really likes it and he'll actually keep his, his nose there, which he's doing at the moment, let me get on with it. See, this is all partly going back to the puppy thing because they become puppies again because it's what their mother would have done now, let them clean. So this is just another bonding thing. And just working a little bit more into that chops. I forgot to take a picture beforehand, but I think I've got pictures on my camera already. But I'll certainly take one and I'll put it up later on when I upload the video onto YouTube. There we go. Right. Now, same thing with the rinse. Get as much water off as you can. And this is just clean water, it's, there's nothing in it, plus a, a new dish towel. I don't use the same one because the other one's got soap on it. So when I get through here, I want to make sure that I get as much soap off as possible. Hey, you're doing well, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing well. You want a treat? I'll give you a treat this thing. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look at that. Right, let me give him a treat first. He's been good. He has been very good, hasn't he? But I've got a feeling I'm gonna to have to put him onto the table in order to dry him. Alright, you chew that. So I hope everybody is keeping warm. I know there's some places he's got it a lot worse than us, but We've got the gritters round daily now. Usually around about half past nine at night they, they come to um, that's it, 
Make sure you get it in. And this is the secret with this is you pull this down. It means you can't step out of it or you can't pull out of it. But the thing is, once you've got them up in these things, you cannot leave them. You have to be with them at all times. I would even go into the kitchen or, if I, or I wouldn't even go to the toilet. If I was busted with the toilet, I'd just pee in the floor. <laughs> I'm only joking. I went to the toilet beforehand. Right, let me get this back. Right, so I'm going to be using my favourite hair dryer. And what I like about this hair dryer, what I, I will do at some point is I'm going to save up and get one that's actually on a stand. So I can have a lot more control with it. Um. Oh, okay, it's on. And you can move it about. I just do this chat brushing. I need to head around here. It's just a gentle heat, it's not up high. It's quite low. I will turn it up a little bit more once I've got them half decently brushed. He's got more control than me. Stand up. Come on, up. Stand up. Stand up. Sometimes you have to change the tone of your voice in order to get them to listen. This will make it a bit easier. Eh? This will make it a bit easier. Quite a nice smell. This shampoo's got a nice smell. Yeah, he's got a nice smell. Can I have that, please? That's it. I mean, if it's still a bit damp, you can keep going over it until you get it. But I find that like, using the hairdryer for a couple of minutes at a time, then go in with a brush and just brush it through. From that, you can tell how wet he still is and. Um, if we need to do any more but because I use the wet sponge system it doesn't get so much water 
it doesn't it doesn't get soaked which I'm really glad about yeah but he's definitely looking a lot cleaner yeah I'm glad that cyst is gone it was so ugly looking I never said that to Obi he has a sensitive soul after all I think like all Tibetan Terriers aren't they? Eh? Sensitive guy. Mm -hmm. Sensitive. Anyway, I'm looking forward. My brother-in-law fixed my laptop for me. I had a... When I, I got my money and stuff, I got... I treated myself to a second-hand Mac. And on Christmas Day, I spilled about... 30 ml of orange juice on it and it just went kaput but my brother-in-law has been able to fix it for me and it turns out it's actually a, a fault with the actual Mac itself so he's getting a new switch put on it for me that turns it on turns it off because the normal button doesn't work grab that this is one good thing about having this is I can actually comb his paws properly mm. you can't stop me mister uh, I think you're going to need that cut in a little while aren't you? Yeah. his nails are still quite good that um, Nail grinder, I would recommend to anybody. He's really used to it now, which is really excellent. So what I do is with that, maybe two or three times a week, I just go, just to take the point off, you know, when we call a lot of the walking he does. His nails go into a, quite a sharp claw very quickly. So this just stops it from getting sharp, because sometimes he likes to jump up on me in the mornings when I'm getting up and it's a big difference to actually him jumping up and he's got really sharp claws there we go I think the tail is probably one of the easiest parts of the dog to do it's just making sure he's always got that nice little point on his tail So his face is actually dry now, so it doesn't take that long. And what I'll do is, I'll do a little spritzer on him, just to sort of freshen him up. I mean, you can do the hot towel with any part of the body. You can, let, if you want to do it like, over a week, do like say, the face one day, the legs the next, then the trunk and the chest and then the bottom half the next day so it's like a four day thing but it means that he gets the right one through and he smells fresh and he smells good hey mister want another treat yeah you see it's getting nice and long but in this weather I'm glad he's got it. I've got a jacket I'll wear from especially when I take him out last thing at night because last thing at night it is even colder. I can't stand it for too long. Oops, oops. I put this up here. Chop through. That's it, that's how easy it is. So that's a good face wash. And once he settles down a bit, I'll take a photograph and I'll put it up. So anyway, let me come over there and see who's there, eh? I'll give you another treat in a second. I can't wait to get this all one. Hello, Stephen. Stephen Porter. Yeah, it will be. He's very patient, but he's been on it quite a... He's... What's this? No. Sorry, I'm just looking through. Thanks for popping in, Steve. Hi Becky, hi Greta, hello Andrea, nice to see you, and then another Andrea, then hi Andrea, dear Pat Sally, 
Oh, Carol. Hi, Carol. Naomi. Nicole. Oh, hi, Nicole. Happy birthday for the other day there. And it's great to know your daughter's... Is it going to Cambridge? Wow. Ollie went to Cambridge once, and that was for just a short course in astronomy. I'm quite into the stars. I love the stars. Um, hello, Vivian. Hello, Chris. Hello, Nicole again. Oh, Nicole, you were the first in. Nice to see you. So, that will only take about roughly 20 minutes, maybe less, to actually get the... to get the... The whole face done and the face does look a lot cleaner from from my perspective are you showing off your big blue eyes big blue i wish he had blue eyes now he's got big brown eyes but yeah just a little bit up here still to do but again it's one of these things i can go back over it again and do it again but it looks a little better for it So hopefully in a week or two I will be um, on live on YouTube as well as soon as I get my other laptop back. But I'm looking forward to um Oh I'm just I'm just looking forward to actually going on YouTube as well because I can do a lot more with here. I've got to come over to the screen to see who's in. And it's really difficult to interact with people. Especially when you're just looking at a little, a camera, it's an iPhone 7 I've got there. So I'm having to do everything through that and it's difficult. It's difficult to see who's there and sometimes I might press the wrong button and I'll bring somebody else on the air. But um, hopefully I'll have that within the week. But yeah, that was it. And there's always two, two different basins of water, one refresh water without any soap, the other one with the soap in it. Then just working it, and I use tea towels, other people might use a little face flannel, but I find the tea towel, one, you can wring it out a lot better, and two, you can get around more of the face, just means that you keep using up a lot of tea towels, which I do anyway, but I also use kitchen towels, so I use kitchen towel to dry my cutlery, my plates, when I'm putting them away. But yeah, that's it. It was great. I, I'm sorry about last week. Last week was just like a complete and utter write off. My internet would come on and stay on for about two minutes and then it'd go off again. And then it'd come on for two minutes, about an hour later, then it'd go off again. And it did that for nearly two or three days. And I phoned up Virgin and he says, oh, it's because it's too cold. I mean, it's colder now, but yet I have internet. Well, yeah, I have internet because it says I'm live. So anyway, thank you so all for coming in tonight. Um, thank you for popping in. If you, th oh, I haven't talked about um, but my DROs come through my debt really for them. Ever since last week when I started the ball rolling, they never came back. The bailiffs never came back. But here's a few pointers for you about bailiffs. One, they get zero contract hours. A lot of them have to pay for their own petrol. That's why they're really persistent with people. And also what I found was quite worrying is a lot of these um, bailiffs, debt collectors, particularly debt collectors. If you get a debt collector to your door, tell me to fuck off. Tell me to go away. They can't do anything. It's the bailiff you've got to watch out. Now, one worrying trend that I have found out about these bailiffs is a lot of them are criminal backgrounds. I did a criminal check and the guy came to my door and he has a, a charge against him for violence. So why is companies employing these people? They come to, to all intents and purposes to the door of somebody that's vulnerable. Now, if you're hiding from debt men, you're in a vulnerable position because you're on benefits, you don't have money and the stuff that you've got, they'll just take it all away. And there is reports of them where they've walked into one guy's house in, I think it was in Hungerford, and they completely wiped him clean. Took his carpets, took his bed, took his bed, and took his clothes, took everything, and left him with nothing except for the clothes on his back. And they, um, they're supposed to have all these policies of what they can, what they can't take, 
but it doesn't stop them. So be careful. If you know somebody is having problems with that, tell them to look at the two weeks ago the, the video did because I was more saying a lot more about them than I am now but just that the things that I found out were quite worrying. I don't like criminals at the best of time and I certainly don't want a criminal coming to my door looking for money. I mean that's what it feels like, the bully boys. So anyway, thank you so for turning up. My beard's getting nice, isn't it? <laughs> I wish I get. I've got to get hair straighteners because it, it, it's got a bit of a curl in it. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all next week. I'll, I'll be posting updates and stuff during the week. I'm getting a bit more into the swing of Facebook again because I've, um, I, I'm not worrying as much now. I, I feel safe from my home. I feel safe from all these predators, these debt predators, as I call them now. So you all take care, and I will see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And good night from him, Obi. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everyone.